figure this out. Mm. Mm. I love being taller than you. Well, that will always be. <laughs> and I have heels on. Hi, everybody. Look who's here. Hi. So we're oh, doing oh, a, a wait, live, wait, wait, a live calm, thing. Wait. Okay. So people are coming in. Just you know, we'll say hi. Drink. Cheers, Salud. everyone. Salute. I'm not used to this live stuff, so excuse me. I for... dragged her in. Tonight we're together. So she much dragged fun. me in, and I'm, I'm literally like, you know, uh, trying to do live. I, I prefer editing. I prefer, uh, you know, uh, f production and lighting. But it is Please like it just is. say, it's, we're in it's COVID. Still, it still we're looks COVID. good. It still looks COVID. good. Yeah, you look I, good. Yeah, you look huh. good too. I, I love so being tonight we're going to make a really you. great recipe, one of our favorites. Yes, so, uh, you know, I, we, I started streaming a couple of days ago, and uh, obviously a lot of you have been asking about Deborah, how Deborah was doing. And I'm Deborah, doing she's, good. She's feeling better. She's uh, finally here. With I me mean, I can't kitchen. wear makeup. I have some eye thing going on, but it's whatever. Okay, you know, we're, all, um, we're all quarantined. We're at so home. It's I'm working. trying to look Just sexy with my husband. It's working. <laughs> okay, thank you for being with us. Uh, it's been nice, and we'll see you. Let's go. That's it? Yes. Go where? I'm joking. You just completely missed oh. it. We were talking about, I was staring at you. Oh. Whatever. Sorry. Okay. <laughs> Family life. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. So we're cooking together tonight. We're making a great dish. Uh, and I'm really excited to join favorites. back with my husband in terms of cooking again. Because we you know we had a cooking show for six seasons on the cooking channel. And um, we also, before that, had a blog that basically blew up the internet, which got us a cooking channel gig. And... Uh, we haven't been, I've been kind of like grossed out by the idea of doing cooking together because... Thank you. No, It I, sounds no, fantastic. No, we do that regardless. We, we cook regardless. And I just feel like um, everybody now is a talk show host or a, a chef or a doctor. So live, I can't edit we're, we're, myself. We're all, so you're we're seeing, all doctors. You're seeing me in real time. Um, and we want to just share with you because we, we're all at home. We're under quarantine, and we want to try to make the best dishes possible. Yes. I can't read your comments. I can't see them because we'll, I have my we'll, glasses. We'll, yeah, Sorry. We'll, we'll follow up. Uh, you know, as a, you know, still drink it. Drink it. Yes. <laughs> Keep on drinking. Um, so we're gonna make this amazing recipe that is actually my husband's recipe. It's not a family recipe. No, this is something that actually I created here in uh, uh, in Brooklyn. Uh, it is a hybrid between a, a ragu, a traditional Italian meat sauce, bolognese. But it's done in a very different way. Uh, you can call it ragu because that's what it is. It's just a meat sauce with tomatoes added to it. Uh, but preparation and ingredients are uh, very, very, very different. This, though, to tell you that ultimately, sometimes it doesn't matter about the kind of ingredient that you can get your hands on. Uh, these are days in which you can just open the fridge or your freezer, defrost eventually something, and just figure out for an inspiration. So we are here just to, to provide a... A, a moment uh, together, which is cooking. This sauce is absolutely delicious, uh, but you can replace... It's one uh, of our kids' favorites. Yes, and you can replace the meat. This is the important part. You can replace the meat basically with, with everything you want. Uh, maybe you can try with tofu. No, no, maybe tofu. Not tofu. No, you can like, you know, do like fake meat. Fake meat. Um, some some beyond do, you meat. Do a, you can do a like vegetarian that. version of it. Um, and... Uh, I'm going to start, start getting ready. I actually am feeling a little bit guilty because uh, here we are making pork and then I just saw the report of the poor pigs that are going to be slaughtered because of the... Uh, Remove jewelry before gloves go in. Gloves get cut. I'm not wearing gloves. I can't cut the gloves. Um, but I, I, I'm just so sad because of all the meat plants getting shut down and the fact of that, that we can't, like the country's not working the way it was. Um, it's, it's, it's actually maybe sending us more to being vegetarians, which I would be happy about. Um, not my husband, but... Um... No, okay. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Speaking of which, let's start with the ingredients. All right, so we're going to start the ingredients. And um, he's, we, we have a local butcher that is organically sourced. It comes from upstate. It comes from Windsor Terrace United Meats. It's lovely. And uh, so he's going to start with the, the, the sausage. Oh, he's going to kill me at the same time. Quarantine effects. It's called, um, who's afraid of Virginia Woolf? <laughs> <laughs> um, I am using mild sausage. Um, years ago, I prepared uh, uh, a sauce, some stuffed zucchini, with Mexican seasoned ground meat. I didn't oh, know that it even existed. For Amanda Demi. For Amanda Demi. <laughs> so if she's out there, I, I still remember the day I wanted to bury myself. 
so yeah, no surprise flavors, uh, but you can use veal, you can use pork, you can use beef, you can use uh, even turkey. Uh, the only difference is that the sear will be different because the pork has a lot of fat, so it will be turning nice and crispy and juicy. Turkey, what can you do with turkey? Okay, so you're going to... Okay, so we have these sausages, they're on links, so what are you going to do with that? Okay, so... Um, you got the sausage. First, Yes, I do. <laughs> First, uh, yeah, let's start with the comments. Um, I suggest uh, always to make double batches, especially in these days. If you have time to be Why? in the kitchen, because you can freeze some. Uh, there's always your Sunday lasagna. This is a sauce for lasagna that is crazy. If you do it in advance, uh, on the day that you want to make your lasagna, you only prepare the bechamella, and then you just layer it and yeah. you're ready to go. So you work right. in advance. You work in advance. All right, so, so. he's going to do the sausage and I'm going to chop some garlic. Uh, with this recipe, it calls for I would like how much sausage? Six sausages, uh, to be generous. In general, I count one sausage per person, but one sausage per person, we all know well that it's never enough, so at least one and a half. And then I'm going to chop the garlic. It was a sexual reference, that one too. Yeah, I got yeah. that. I got uh, that. No. I was uh, trying not to be reactive. <laughs> um, He's always with the sausage. Well, one, one big difference uh, in, uh, in this recipe is the preparation. When you make a traditional bolognese, you have a sofrito with onion, uh, onion, celery and carrots. And then you add the beef and then the wine and then the red tomatoes. And then you let it simmer. Here, I crisp this pork basically to the impossible until it's almost browned and, and really hard and crispy. And on the side, I make red sauce. And right before they're both almost ready, I combine them together. So and wait, with your red sauce, sauce. Uh, uh, are you going to show them how to make the red sauce? You're going to no? show them how to make a red sauce. Oh, okay. It's only two cloves okay. of garlic, uh, sliced and not even too fine, otherwise they burn too fast, but kind of like on a medium fine. And it's not a regular red sauce. This is a red sauce that is specific to this dish. So no. normally, yes, no, normally we use like, I mean, I use, not normally. I use onion. And you and and this one you're not using red onion. No, just garlic. Just Too garlic. Close. When I make just the red sauce, I like to exceed the garlic into the red sauce. But you'll see because I'm using another four or five cloves of garlic with the sausage, it, it, there will be plenty of flavor. So the wife is gonna start All taking right. care of the garlic, and you're gonna start taking care of the sausages. Remove them from the casing. You slide them out like that. Can you see? And then, yes, yeah, yeah, I'm showing everything. And then you remove the casing in the pan, right? So tonight we're going real time. There'll be plenty of time for chat. If we're able to see some comments, we'll try to respond some comments. Yes, sorry, I can't see the comments because it's too small and it's too far away from our tripod. Okay. I am. Uh, I'm chopping up two nice garlic cloves. I'll bring um, this down. here. And. Uh, you know, the thing is, is that for this sauce, apparently, uh, it's, it's, it's so incredibly simple that you, you don't have to do very much. This is an extremely foolproof recipe. It's very, very easy. You just remove it from the casing. In case you have, uh, uh, obviously, the, the frosted meat, maybe pet dry the package before you put it into the pan, reduce a little bit, you know, if there's any water into that. What I like of using pork is the amount of fat and the amount of crisp and juice that it produces. And that is, uh, you know, absolutely my, my favorite. And I cut the garlic out of the case and I smash it and then I cut it up, which he always thinks is insulting. I didn't see her smashing the garlic. Nobody sees you though. But I really don't care what he thinks. I'm just cutting the fucking garlic and it ends like that. Um, and I, I know how to cut really finely. I was in Goodfellas. I've had some tips and I've been a cook for a Joke long time. time. All right. You know what though? Let me what? try to see because people don't see you. Oh, okay. Maybe they were in now. Okay, and this was it. Now, with the sausage, you just break it down. Uh, I have gloves because now we have. Uh, I usually use gloves in the kitchen, even if now I'm using them more to get out of the house than for cooking. But basically, what you want to do is uh, crumble the sausage in advance, mainly because once you start cooking it, it speeds up the cooking process and you don't have to work extra hard uh, with like the wooden spoon to break down the chunks. So just kind of like use your hands, just squish it all together and distribute it evenly on the pan, okay? Don't turn the pan on just yet, just because you don't want to kind of like start burning the rubber gloves into your, into your meat. Stop, 
Stop it. Scusa. So, scusa un attimo, scusa. We don't do that. We don't do that. We don't do that. In camicia means in Italian, the jacket of the... Uh, with, with the shirt. Of, of the garlic. And that's exactly what we're doing now. Okay, so glove removal. Okay, glove removal and... Fire I've got, start. I've got my garlic chopped. My starter here is broken, so I've got to feed it out. Voila. You know, during COVID right now, uh, it's really important to cook stuff, and what the great thing is that you can actually like take this recipe and then with leftovers you can create it into something else. You can use it for your morning breakfast. We have mixed the leftovers with uh, some broccoli rob, and that was exceptional. Um, the recipe calls for two sprigs of rosemary. This is one gigantic one, which is almost too much, but nah, never too much. I'm gonna break it in about two, three pieces, and just add it. Okay, okay, so my garlic is chopped and we're going to get the red sauce going. Voila. Um, do we need another pan? Uh, no, you start the red sauce inside there. Okay. What did you do to the garlic? I told you sliced. What do you mean? It is sliced. What? Medium sliced? That's fucking chopped. You first crushed it. No, and now you fucking minced it. Is you were super. Can. We even talked about it before we did this thing. Watch it. Watch it. Okay. Can so you slice me two cloves I'm, of garlic, please? I already did. So now I'm going to add a little bit of olive oil into a pot. Fair. All right. Rub your shirt on the garlic. Go and I'm gonna, I'm gonna get my, my at a medium, medium, a, a medium low high. She has on these. That's about nice. what, what I'm feeling right now. What she's feeling. Right? <laughs> <laughs> she it's, laughs. It's garlic. It's, it's, gonna, a, it's gonna, it's gonna, it's gonna, it's gonna go down. Go down where? Down your ass. Ah, that one out. All right, really? so we got okay. the garlic. So she's doing the garlic. Do you want to show it how you destroy the garlic? Do you want to show it on camera a little bit? Oh well, no, I mean, I just chopped it. I didn't destroy anything. I just chopped the garlic and yeah. that's that. The wife chopped the garlic. I do not. I am gonna add uh, my garlic in camicha, which means with, with the shirt on, okay? And the good thing, things behind my back. Uh, and the good thing of this is that as it cooks and roasts, yeah, 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 yeah. There, I see you. <laughs> You're behind me. It's like being in a mirror. I can see you. Um, this will cook with the sausage, then cook again with the red sauce, and then eventually will pop in your mouth. You'll find it in your plate. Where's the tomatoes? The what? It's the tomatoes. She, she was in the New York Times for her accident. Tomatoes? The tomatoes? No, not yet. The tomatoes are there. Uh, Show them to the so the yeah, Okay. So where's oh, the tomatoes? Yeah. They're in front of you. Oh, okay. So I got these tomatoes, all right. So I was talking about my side of the recipe. Oh, excuse Add about four, five, six, uh, uh, usually one per sausage, okay? In. All right, talk about the tomatoes. What do you so like So you're about? actually adding whole garlic. Whole right? garlic, clove. Including my chopped garlic. No, no. The, sauce. the garlic, your chopped garlic is in right. the other one. So just so you know, um, in my neighborhood, I'm able to get cherry tomatoes in a can. They're very sweet. Um, I go to United Meats, uh, it's in Windsor Terrace, uh, any, any place that sells Italian stuff can find it. But um, I'm going to use I'm gonna use this to make my red sauce. Help uh, the sautéing. Super, super high flame. Let's remove the rubber gloves. Super, super high flame. And uh, olive oil. Not too generous. Uh, generous enough, but not too much. You don't need to drench it. The, the fat is going to start melting soon and then it's going to turn into your juice. Going here, so. Maybe if you, there you go. Jack up the fire to saute fire up, up, up. Oh my god, my nails are so soft. I'm post acrylics. Mm. All right, so we got this. Okay. Um, now, are we blending this yes. or not? So, um, about the tomatoes, so you can use any kind of tomatoes. So you can use the regular peeled tomatoes, you can use cherry tomatoes if you want to. But these are by far my favorite find uh, in our neighborhood. Bit sweeter. So, so what we're, we're going to do... We're going to take two cans. Two cans, two which is 28 cans. ounces, okay? So one big can or two small Dump cans. Dump it in here. Dump it in here. And now we're going to blend them. And then I'm going to blend it. Alright. Ah, wait, wait, stop. Give what? me the cans. Okay. Do not toss anything, ever. Every time that you get tomatoes out of the can, there's at least, at least, like my mother would say, five cents of product inside. Pour some fresh water into it. Turn it around. I'm, I'm going to clean the... I'm, I, I'm always cleaning. So I'm Move gonna, it into I'm the other clean, can. I'm going to clean this. 
and then add it to the tomatoes, okay? So at least you haven't tossed anything. And these are now nice and clean. It's also better for recycling. What you have to do now is uh, spend some time breaking down this meat and turning everything. Make sure that you don't break the garlic, okay? So just go around the garlic, make sure you don't break it so they cook within, uh, within their shirt, within their peel. Now, okay, so now are we blending? The, emul uh, the emulsifier? Uh, the emulsifier? We're not emulsifying, we're just blending. So we take the blender. Okay, so, okay. okay. I'll do that. Here. We have here, wait, I want to show them. It's my impression. I, I want, want to show, show I want to show oh, it. God, so we have, you know, this thing. It's a, uh, you know, blender thing. You put it together like that. The blender thing. We have a blender thing in the house. You it's an immersion thing. Immersion and blender. And Yami's going to uh, use it to uh, blend the tomatoes. So they they still have a little bit of a chunk, but it's not, you know, too chunky. There you go. So you're going to blend it yourself? You know, I'll the, blend it. How about the slab? You know how to use your emulsifier? Don't forget about your garlic, because now you chopped it. And you you, you don't done. forget about it. You don't forget about the garlic. I she's forget stuck. about everything. Right, okay. But thank God he's in the kitchen because I'll, I'll burn that shit. All right, now where's the on button? There's there no on button. Oh, Don't push your Ooh. face or your hair it's into that. Vibrator. Oh, wow. Okay. Deborah, really. Scusa. All right. Scusa. Boom. Don't, don't make so. your tomatoes too uh, thin, okay? You see her blending stuff? Do not make it too thin. Leave some texture to it. Okay, that's enough. That's thank enough. you very much. Okay. You want to have some chunk. This garlic, this garlic is uh, not completely uh, sautéed. Now I'm going to add the hot pepper flakes. You cannot do hot pepper flakes uh, and garlic at the same time. Otherwise, uh, the hot pepper will, will burn and turn into black. So you add the hot pepper just, no easy white, just at the very last moment, okay? All right, it's ready. Right on, okay. So you add the red pepper. We love red pepper. We like it to be hot. And when the some oil, some like it hot. Some like it hot. And when the oil is hot, you really do almost do not need to saute it anymore. You just turn it around together in the hot oil. The flavor is going to start permeating in the oil, and then you just add the tomatoes. Right. And here we go. Tomatoes added. They're like you know still have some chunky bits with the garlic. Go back on a medium to low flame. Yep. What lower it a bit. You gotta bring it to a simmer. So you lower the flame a bit, yeah. and let's season with some salt. I'm wearing my grandmother's uh, apron. You can't see it. Okay. For these tomatoes, uh, I use about three pinches, which is not really an editorial term. This is a pinch to me. Okay. So every every time that I make a red sauce, every time that I'm preparing a sauce for four people, usually on the 28 ounces ratio, it's three of these. That's kind of like the way that I do it. like cooking, I'm always cleaning. So I always feel like as if he like, you know, cooks. But you're not stirring. That's up to you. I always like, you know, I try to clean up after him. And he's a, he's a chef. I'm his helper. So uh, I clean, he cooks, uh, but when he cooks, he makes a mess. It's not true. No, but I mean, absolutely not I'm, I'm true. Like more, uh, that's, how, that's how gossip starts, woman. You just don't. <laughs> All right. So now, what do I do? I'm going to stir my sauce. Well, yeah. Stir the sauce. Bring it to a simmer. Sorry, I'm, I'm covering the queen. Cannot cover the queen. And you see, like, it looks good. see how nice. Like you want me. Show them. I'll bring it to you. So you want your meat to get this nice color, okay? But this chunk. This chunk here is too big. So what you want to do is just keep on breaking it. This side is not cooked enough. And that's the way that my sauce is looking right now. You gotta keep on breaking it and breaking it. You have no breaking. idea what my house smells like. It's a little bit of heaven right now. You got sausages, you got rosemary, you got garlic, you got tomatoes. It smells tomatoes. like you heaven. Got, you got tomatoes. 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 Oh, hot, tip. tip. Hot tomatoes. If you want to, because eventually the um, the leaves of the rosemary will fall off the sprig, you want to make sure that when you do this, you try to keep the rosemary in touch with the pan. Okay, so don't keep it floating on top of the meat. 
Make sure that the meat goes on top of the rosemary. Uh, the oil will get a nice flavor, you'll get a nice sear, and it will be properly cooked and crunchy once it ends up in the sauce. And another thing, like we also use like wine or beer to also uh, help saute. No, so today, you don't saute with wine. You deglaze with wine or you just... Well, we're not deglazing. I mean, I'm not, I'm not I'm, like I'm not deglazing. I'm not, I'm I'm not just... like you that's talking about deglazing. That's for you and the chefs. Do not saute with wine. You'll ruin your wine. You're, but, too, you're too cute. Are you, mm, you're you're are, my favorite. Now are you going to add some liquor? Oh, now you want me to add liquor? Not liquor. Is that liquor, beer, red wine, white wine? No, what is this that you want? Add red, something to this. I'm, I'm gonna add something but not yet I want to make sure I want to make sure that I get the right color right so we're almost there not completely there but we're almost there are you getting ready for the seven o'clock applause we are Where is the time 49 uh, maybe we'll have to do it by the door this this sauce won't be ready in 10 minutes but we can show you kind of like where it has to, to get to a certain point we I'm sorry you can't see in the pan Show them. That's easy. Listen to this. Yeah. See? It's not ready yet. See the rosemary starting to lose a few leaves. There are some bits that are too big. And the and the color is not there yet. So still working. This is a this is a sauce. This is almost like a risotto. This is one of those sauces that you can just like spend a good 20 minutes at the stove because you cannot leave it alone. You can run for a quick run to get like a, fill up your shop or grab a beer, but you want to make sure that you can or keep on searing it call. or take a phone call. Yeah, this, this kind of sauce is good for gossip. You just, we already have the music going. Oh yeah, could have the music going. So he's sauteing, and uh, I have my shall, sauce going. Shall we talk? Uh, shall we talk about ingredients for a moment? Um, Turkey meat will never give you this color. Uh, veal will never give you this color. Beef, eh, maybe. This is very uh, sausagey. And, and the, the interesting part of this is that I'm dying to try this recipe in Italy, but I never dared because Tuscan sausage is so much more flavorful than what I find here that I'm afraid of making a pasta sauce that is almost not edible. I'm afraid that the power, you know, that, that is going to be a little bit too much. Nothing scares me. What are you talking Nothing about? Nothing scares me. So we're sauteing, sauteing. You have to stay on top of it. Keep on moving it. Keep on moving your sauce. You know, make sure everything's like, you know, moving around and cooking. Your house smells like heaven. You don't like tomatoes. You don't like tomatoes. Forget the tomatoes. Boil your broccoli rub in salted water for about three minutes. Squeeze them, dry them, saute them again with some garlic and hot pepper flakes and mix it to the meat. And you'll have, uh, maybe, you know, at that point, make it with white wine or beer, not with red wine, because you'll get an off color, it wouldn't look good. Um, and the flavor will be kind of like off. It's red sauce, burn. you know, cause, no, it's fine. Yeah, you keep on doing that. Um, but that is uh, absolutely perfect. I don't even remember what I was I'm talking sous -chef. about. Yes, my sous chef. Keep on working. Oh, look. What? Why do we add the wine? This is today. Today came out better. But do you remember the other day when we were talking about the bread and about the fact that when the dough is too wet, it opens up on the pizza stone too much and when you cover it with the lid, you might clip the dough. I clipped the dough. You see the stream? So I basically got the, the I got into the oven and I closed it into the uh, under the pot. But it came out really nice. Nice crust, nice sound. Very happy. All right, so the, the sausage is like actually browning. This is We're sausage getting a browning. nice color on the sausage. This one has to pull a little longer. I would say we're about three, four minutes uh, from uh, adding the wine to the meat. You have lipstick on your face. Lipstick only on my kiss. face. Only and on my got, face. But look, he's lipstick. got lipstick on his mouth. Oh my I God. love it. Mm. That's too much, woman. And I wear oh Dororo. Estee Lauder, Jennifer, and Dororo Akalo. Oh, uh, where uh, I, have, I have this great red lipstick. And um, it always transfers. And it looks so cute. My lipstick on. I love it. Yeah. Um, okay. Except when I forget and I get out of the house. That's, uh, that's different. 
Okay? Our house is smelling amazing. Progress. We we are really almost there. The Fuck, it's heavy. Egg. So we're almost Sausage. there. Okay? So the, the rosemary sprigs uh, have lost almost their leaves. Uh, most of them, you see? And then, you know, once it's all done, you remove the spray. Uh, sorry, sorry. And you don't want to overdo it. So yes, you want to overdo it. You want this to be do? nice and super crispy and brown. I yes. didn't know that. I usually don't okay. do that, but that's... See, I'm learning as I go. I mean, he's a chef. Yeah. I'm Ooh. here to help. Let's talk. Okay. So let's talk about cuts of pasta. Then. Tonight... This is a, uh, the shape is our favorite pasta. It's not a sponsored message or anything, you but like in, terms, in terms of value, yeah, this is the, like the best that you can get. Rock, like making fresh pasta to me, it, it's a like gummy and it works with certain papadas. Are you I, talking shit about my fresh pasta? No, 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 but it works with certain things, but it's with really certain not dishes, good, not nice it, you don't want that kind of chewy no, pasta. No, obviously. If you're making spaghetti, like buy a box of spaghetti. Just if you want saying. to make fusilli, buy some dry fusilli. What I'm talking, are you mixing my, my meat? Oh yes, okay. What is important for a sauce like this uh, is a, a, a pasta that collects the sauce, okay? So don't do spaghetti, fettuccine, bucatini, uh, use it for lasagne, use fusilli, uh, maybe some penne rigate, not the penne, the smooth ones, they, they suck. Um, my favorite are the shells, even if the shells sometimes tends to collect too much sauce, so when you go serving, People end up with a lot of sauce, and other people end up with less sauce. So this is a this is a fusillo bucato. Everybody can see it. All right. So it's a round it's fusillo it's with a hole. It's time. It's time. So this this the sauce is ready. Come on. Yes. Okay. So this it's is brown. a. We're good. All right. I'll keep on breaking it as I add my favorite uh, alcohol. So All this right, is so the thing. If you stay vegetarian, if you stay vegetarian, no, you won't. If you stay without tomato, go with beer or white wine. If you go with red sauce, red wine then becomes uh, a perfect So we marriage. were gifted uh, a, a yes. wine, and we actually went and, that, and that's shot. That's what our friends are for, Chris. No, we were shot at, 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 we shot our cooking show at their uh, winery in Sonoma. And this is Madrigal, a wonderful... Uh, this uh, is uh, Nuestro Sangre from 2016. So Madrigal is, is got a wonderful uh, place in Sonoma, and they just sent us some wine. No, they're in Napa. They're not in Sonoma. Well, Napa, whatever. I don't remember. It means wine County. Wine County. I don't know the difference. Sorry. Excuse me. <laughs> um, but it, they sent us some wine, and it's really lovely. And, and it's only fair that it. we use it, and use it, and drink it, and use it. So cheers to you, Chris. Thank you so much. Thank and, you, and Chris. Well, and look, you know me because the people that follow me know that I'm extremely racist when it comes, uh, and, and extremely biased when it comes about wine. But here's uh, the thing about of wine. Of all the Californian wines, this is truly one of my uh, favorites. One of our favorites, uh, not because we shot there, but it's a really good wine. But I have to tell you that like, when you cook wine, uh, when you use wine, and any wine or al any alcohol in your food, you have to cook it down so you don't taste alcohol. Why? Yes, and the thing is that you just really don't want to taste it, so, but it gives it a certain seasoning. You put maybe half a glass into your, into your food, and you cook it off, so even if you're in AA uh, and you can't drink. No, don't tell people that are in AA to go buy wine. No, but I mean, this will actually cook down so you can cook it. And you don't have the alcohol well, in your yeah. food. And what are you going to do with the rest of the bottle? Be tempted for the rest of the night? I am. You're fucking up people's lives, man. Okay, sorry. I mean, maybe it's irresponsible. This is the moment where you remove the sprigs of uh, rosemary, really. So okay. find, a, find a thick sprig and toss it up and remove what it. What can I do now? Uh, well, now we're kind of like, it's 6.58, so we're kind of like getting ready to go cheer. I guess we'll open the door here. But, look. Ultimately, we could say goodbye because uh, this is uh, the sauce is, sauce is uh, done. The sauce is cooking. It's it not completely great. pulled. It's not completely pulled, and it's hard to show you, but it's not completely pulled. But now that the wine, uh, the alcohol has been absorbed, and you have a decent color. So, how long do we keep this cooking? Okay. And how long do, can people keep the sauce cooking? So how long does the sauce cook? Yes. 
Fish. How long is the sauce cook? Now you add the red sauce. I can add it. So now it's like all combined. This is already seasoned. The sausages are pre-seasoned because they have fennel and white wine in it and salt and pepper and all that. Can you show them? And that? our red sauce has been seasoned. So you stir all the ingredients together. You're not searing anymore, so lower the flame. Okay, bring Look it to, to wow. like a medium. Even a medium low. But show them how gorgeous that One second! Looks. I know, but it's gorgeous. I hate being married, but like, who's afraid of Virginia Woolf? Shut up. I'm gonna yes. toss it on the floor. Look at that. Shh, listen to this. It's like perfume All right. of life. So right? this is going to simmer on a very, very gentle simmer. I would say a safe 15 minutes, anywhere between 10 and 20. Uh, you are the judge. Suggestion. If you're planning to make eggplants, uh, leave it a little, uh, not eggplants, sorry. Well, you can make pasta like a cacciata with it. Eggplants? Eggplant. Shut up. Floral? Wow, funny. Okay. If you're going so to make a lasagna, like make a wet sauce, okay? Keep it a little wet. If you're using it on your pasta, you can pull it a little more because, but when you make a lasagna, especially with dry lasagna, you want to make sure that you have, uh, you know, some watery component to that. Okay, so you see, this is a some more of a gentle simmer. I have a pot of salted water that I'll start boiling, and uh, in about 20 minutes, our dinner will be ready. And just you know, I mean, when I'm not use this format, so forgive us if it's not like you know good enough, and we don't have the right shots. And it's it's Make sure that you make the pasta al dente. And then wait. You're dropping my stuff. Then you drop your strain, shit. strain the pasta and, then, and finish it inside the sauce. And okay? then you add fresh parmesan. And you know, when no, you serve You don't it, add it. You garnish your plate. You with garnish your you plate with fresh parmesan. No, exactly. You garnish your plate with fresh parmesan. Quite it. And a little bit of olive oil, salt and pepper if you like it, hot pepper if you want some more. Um, make sure you have bread. Because you need to eat pasta with bread. And you use scarpetta. Okay. Scarpetta needs a little shoe. You scoop it we up. We have missed. It's already 701. Well, at least I, I had my Yay. little feral moment. So thank you, respo thank responders you. and yes. essential workers and grocery packers and delivery guys and mailmen. We love and you. UPS. We hope you guys understood this anybody. video. And the let teachers. Let us know as always. if we can improve thank you, teachers. our skilled, yes. uh, because skilled. skills. Be because we, you know, it's my this is my first kind of like live so good. thing. This is fun. I don't. I don't Are like having fun? live. I like. I like having editing and lighting and you know angles. Somebody's and asking what we're making. You're a little late. We're we're already finished. But the I recipe. Can't, I can't. I can't oh. read it. <clears throat> Sorry. Before I say goodbye, all the recipes on the Toscangan.com. www.thetoscangan.com. All the recipes are there. Make sure you get into yeah. the newsletter and you'll get your recipes in your inbox as well. I was able to add, at least on my profile, on the Toscan Gun, Debbie doesn't have it yet, uh, but we supported the food bank That's for New York City. Okay. I'm running a campaign on Facebook Always in support did. of the uh, food bank. So right now I put in five grand, we already raised about almost 700 today, so thank you so much for your support and as soon as we hit it, if we hit it, I'll raise it. We'll keep on doing this as, as long as this uh, happens. We love you all. I love you. And just so you guys so know, hard. like, I'm, I'm not interested in always, like, doing, like, this whole live thing to be like, oh, I'm going to be... A I'll be here. I'll keep cooking. Cook. She'll come but in just and Just so out. you know, like, we had a cooking show uh, online called Under the Tuscan Gun. That was, like, 15 50 years episode, ago. 15 years ago. We blew up the internet. We ended up getting onto the cooking channel, being a first family. And this, to us, is like, do we want to go back there? But you guys are asking for it, and we make, good, nice. we make good stuff. It, it took us time and, uh, to, to and, decide and, to be and, back, and, but and it's, if, uh, it's if wonderful. We, if we continue with this, and if you like it, if I see the results, maybe I'll do it again. I just don't know if, like, it, he's into it, but I'm not that into it. I like, I like production. But if you like it, let us know. Let us know, and we, we can do some more. I just feel unedited and kind of awkward. Too late for that. We love you. Have a good Ciao. night. Ciao guys, bye bye. Ciao.